perhaps we can turn to hydrogen. Um, hydrogen is almost a panacea to make India energy independent. Solar and wind is abundantly available, can be used for stationary energy applications, can be used for mobility. Um, but the dichotomy we have here is that the technology comes either from two parts of the world, Europe, small companies, very expensive, or China, uh, large companies, cheaper. But we have some sort of dichotomy there because of a foreign policy diversion versus an economic integration. Um, fuel cells have to be made here. Electrolyzer stacks have to be made here. Yet that technology doesn't exist here. Um, do you see us moving closer to China in terms of buying technology for alkaline electrolyzers for large scale gigawatt uh, manufacture of no, hydrogen? Why, why, what is the big technology in electrolyzer? What is the big technology in making renewables? We are producing 200 gigawatt of renewable energy in India. How do you produce green hydrogen? You take renewables, crack water through a process of electrolyzer and produce green hydrogen and in its liquid form export it. Renewables we manufacture, 200 gigawatt. Electrolyzer, number of companies are working in collaboration, in joint venture collaboration, from LNT to Green Core to in, uh, Indian Oil. Many companies are getting into the process of electrolyzer manufacturing. Alkaline, PEM, many technologies are being worked at here. And I don't think that's a major technological uh, challenge at all. And then to crack water and produce green hydrogen. The challenge is to bring in size and scale of manufacturing and to reduce the cost of green hydrogen from four and a half dollar at present to one dollar by 2030. And that would require you size and scale. And that many Indian companies from uh, uh, Adani to Ambani to Green Core to Renew to uh, many other companies uh, you know, you have remarkable uh, uh, companies uh, working on this area. Uh, you have this company headed by uh, Manoj Upadhyay, who's actually gone and done a, a, a green hydrogen project in Oman. Mm -hmm. So you have many uh, companies doing this. And uh, these are young cowboys of India who will crack it and bring it down. So I expect the price of green hydrogen to come down very rapidly and I expect India to achieve $1 by 2030. And that's why you have a, uh, we have a, a, a green hydrogen mission uh, which is working on this and we have supported many electrolyzer plants in India today. Hmm.